to show you how you can use the recurring order functionality within Dynamics GP to create recurring invoices on a regular basis. So let's take a look at it. Here's a sales order that I set up to be repeating. Now what you have to do is make sure that when you put an order in that it allows itself to be repeated and then go to this blue expansion arrow here and specify the way that it's going to be repeated. So I mark it as repeating. I put the number of times it will repeat and the frequency. So this is a standard order. I've got three different line items here. I've set up a couple of them for three different customers. You can see that here. And I put them all in one batch. So what's nice about this is I can take all these orders, I can transfer them to invoices at one time. So the thing that you want to keep in mind, however, is that you must make sure that when you transfer these, you use the proper invoice date. So make sure that your system date down on the lower left-hand side is the correct date that you want for those invoices. So let's take a look at it. So here's the batch that I have set up. It's got the three orders in it. And what I want to do is transfer these orders to invoices, and it's just going to repeat based on the information on that order. So let's do that. So I create the three invoices, and you can see that now I've got a total of six documents in my batch, which means I've got the three orders plus the three invoices. So let's just take a look at that invoice. Here's one of the invoices that was created. If I want to, I can change the quantity and the pricing on the invoice before I post it. But I'm fine with these. We can just take a look at the other invoices here, and they look fine. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the batch now and post that batch. Let's take a look at some of the reporting that I set up for this particular exercise. So here's a refreshable Excel report. This is connected directly to the data in Dynamics GP. And you can see that I've got the invoices out here by customer, by line item, and then by the date. So this gives you a quick look at invoices that are in the system and have been posted from this particular set of invoices. I also have a report set up to show my orders that are in the recurring batch. You can see those listed here. It's listed by customer and then by service rendered. This was a quick example to show you how you can use recurring orders within Dynamics GP to create a series of recurring invoices. Now the control over this is pretty much up to the user. You have to make sure that you've got all the invoices in that batch, use the correct dates, make sure that you've got amounts updated. If you do that, you can see some of the reporting will give you a good analysis of those recurring orders and the recurring invoices.